is uh, it, people get confused with all those words. That's just what I noticed. And so if you could sit back and observe you taking a walk or you observe yourself running, you know what I mean? You're not caught up in any part of it. You're just watching you. Then you're no longer affected by whatever is happening on the outside. That, that's yes. what I noticed the difference. And when you are affected, you know there's ego involved and everything else is involved. Yes. And that's... That, that, that's a huge difference, but a very subtle one by standing there and watching yourself. And so yes. if you're caught up in anything, you know you're not observing you. It's mm -hmm. that simple. Uh, that's what I noticed anyway. If yes. you're affected in any way, then you're um, attached to whatever is the yes. happening. That's the best way I can put it. Right. <laughs> so we react. That's what it is. Right, right. We react. Okay, why do we react? Look at this diagram. Like we exist like a jiva, we are jivatma. We are body, senses, mind, intellect and consciousness. That is what we are. Here is the world down there. So when we are integrated, we are together, no matter what somebody says or what is happening, we don't get influenced by it. Right? But when we are disintegrated. That means body working on its own, five senses work separately. Separately, Then you are influenced easily. Mm. You are connected with your eyes, connected with your mind, connected with the, your emotions. Mm. You are not integrated. You are more susceptible. Mm. Okay. So it doesn't matter. No matter where you are, if you remain integrated, you have the power. Integrated Jivatma tries to go toward Atman, Paramatman, Supreme Consciousness. That means gives you so much power that world won't touch you. If you are not integrated, then you have greater chance to be influenced by outside. Okay? So ego is awareness that I am separate from the world. Yeah. And that is what causes all the problem, okay? Like, all the evils come from ego. Ego, mm -hmm. like jealousy comes, like you have more than I am, mm -hmm. you know? Somebody would steal something from me because then you, if you create separation, it just, just, just fear comes, you know, all these things come because there are two. In a deep slumber state, you know, susupti state, when you are asleep, you are not even dreaming. During that state, mm -hmm. you are not aware. You know, mm -hmm. you don't know who you are, where you are. It is kind of unconscious samadhi state. Mm -hmm. That time, it doesn't matter. You know, some scary things come. Or anything happens, you are not aware. Because we are not connected. Mm -hmm. We are connected because of ego, all the senses, mind, everything that involved. Hmm. So ego is the focal point that causes all the problem. Hmm. Again on ego, I think in this book I have written quite a lot and so many people like it. Mm -hmm. People misunderstand ego. You know how? They go to psychiatrists and psychologists. They say build your ego. Hmm. And you go to spiritual person Virtual master, give up ego. <laughs> there is no conflict. Mm -hmm. When psychologist or psychiatrist says, build your ego, they are talking about build your self-confidence. Mm -hmm. That is what they are talking mm -hmm. about. When spiritual masters give up your ego, mm -hmm. give up your identity and self-centered activities, become universal. Mm -hmm. So really, starting point is to build the ego. There is tamasic ego, rasic ego, and sattvic ego. See, tamasic ego is laziness. Rasic ego is ambition and working hard, succeeding in life, mm. stepping on someone, whatever necessary. <laughs> that is rasic ego. Sattvic ego, you are content, so you share. You have no desire to accumulate. You have desire to serve. Mm. That is sattvic ego. Then it becomes purified. Then you go in deep meditation and you dissolve your ego totally, which is far out state. 
you know, it's called gunatit state. State where there is no guna. That could be like people who are totally liberated would be somebody like a moron. You know, externally. Because they don't feel pleasure, pain. They don't feel this is my, this is your. You lose that identity. You know, they're just so highly advanced state we cannot even think about. Because, you know, somebody who is moron, this is your, they don't care. Take whatever you like. And saintly person becomes like that because they don't see mine and yours. So that is far out state. But we have to build the ego first before giving giving up ego. You have to earn million before you give charity of half a million. Okay. So this is like building the ego. Mm. 